When I started my online business like five, six years ago and published my website, the main struggle, the main problem was traffic. It was only me and some of my friends who knew about my website. So I was getting like 10 to 20 views per day, 50% from me and 10 views from my friends. So it was really the main problem, how to get traffic to my website. From that moment, I did a lot of research, really a lot. I tried many things. Today, my main website gets around 600,000 views per month. If you watched my video in December 2020 about my plan to 2021, I was planning for 30 visits per month on Age Educate and 15,000 visits per day on Age Super Tools. Look at this today. This is Age Educate per month. I'm getting around 250,000 views. You can see the chart. On Age Super Tools, I'm getting around 350,000 views. So I achieved my plan and I passed this. This year for 2022, as you will see in my plan next week, I am planning for 1 million views per month. How I am doing this? How I get traffic? One of the best sources of traffic is simply traffic from Google. Free organic traffic from Google. And here it comes, SEO or search engine optimization. If you go here to Google Search Console, you can see my website, hdk.com. I'm getting around 61,000 search clicks. These are free traffic directly from Google on my main website, hdk. And on H Super Tools, I'm getting around 144,000 web search clicks. Not that bad. At least I achieved my planned goals. Anyway, so what is SEO? In 10 seconds, SEO is simply some techniques, some things that you apply on your website. So you can tell Google, you can say, hey Google, this is my website, rank it, put it on top of your search results so I can get traffic for free from your organic search results. That's simply SEO. And when it comes to SEO or search engine optimization, we have mainly two parts. We have on-page SEO and off-page SEO. To make things simple, on-page SEO is everything you can do on your website, like optimizing your articles, your titles, your images, your templates, and so on. Off-page SEO, which will be covered later in detail, is everything you do outside your website site like backlinks, social signals, guest posts, and so on. Today, we are going to cover on-page SEO and see how this helps in getting traffic for free from Google. Think about it as the ultimate guide to on-page SEO. And what's nice, we have a lot of free resources, free checklists in this video. Stay tuned and follow up. Welcome everyone to part six in our awesome new series, build an online business with me from scratch and reach $2,000 per month. In part five, we learned how to write an article from scratch and together we wrote this article. This is my website. Let's go to all posts. If you remember, we wrote this article. What is email validation? I click on edit and now let's go and optimize it for SEO. As we mentioned, on page SEO is everything we can do now on this post to help rank it on Google. And we will do this together right now live in this video so you can learn exactly what to do. And you will do this step by step to make things simple for you. So let's start with step number one in this on-page SEO checklist. Simply, you have to set the focus keyword. What do we mean? Let's go here to Google. On Google, usually we search for something. This something or this search term that we are searching for is a keyword. For example, in my case, it's about email validation. So someone who wants to know about email validation will say, what is email validation and he will get some results he will click this website will get traffic and so on so your job is to rank your website for your own keyword your target keyword on the first 10 results of google on top of the search results in my case I need to pick a keyword, a focus keyword I want to target for this article. How to do this? Usually we do keyword research. I will make things now simple for you. What you have to do is to go to hsupertools.com, my free digital marketing and SEO tools. Here simply go to SEO keyword research tool. Now in my case, if you go here and pick this word, what is email validation? I will set a country for global because I want to target 
the global audience worldwide i will click on search it's english in my case and you will see now this term this keyword gets around 110 searches per month not that much it's good for now we are still new we want to rank on these keywords to get some traffic you can see here in the seo difficulty it shows nothing not available this means in most cases that we don't have that difficulty on this keyword so i will go with this keyword this is my focus keyword this is the keyword i'm going to target in this article and if someone here don't trust these results from H Super Tools, I want to tell you, H Super Tools is reading data from premium APIs. I am paying for this data that I'm showing it for you for free. But this data is real from premium APIs. Let me show you this. I will get this keyword, the same keyword, go here to Ahrefs, maybe number one SEO tool worldwide. I will paste this keyword. I will say United States and say search. Now you will see the volume is 30. I will do the same on eight super tools. I will go here to the United States and search. And you will see now that the search volume is 30 exact same result so this is only to feel comfortable while using eight super tools this is real premium data anyway so i will pick this keyword this is my focus keyword so now what you have to do is to mention this focus keyword in the first paragraph of your article where is the first paragraph here is my first paragraph you can see i mentioned it here what is email validation i wrote the article based on the rules we learned in part five and i mentioned this keyword here here. So step number one, make sure to mention your target keyword in the first paragraph. The second thing you have to know is you have to make your title, the title of the article in an H1 tag. What do this mean? Let's go to my main website on Educate. If you open any article like this one, and if you go here to this title, right click and click on inspect, we will see the HTML code, the code behind. So you will see this title is inside a header tag, H1 tag. Make sure to do this if you are developing your own website. Now in WordPress, this is done automatically, but I mentioned this just in case you are doing your own customized website. In WordPress, I think also in Blogger and all these platforms, this will be done automatically for you. So make sure to use H1 tags for your title. Step number three make sure to use h2 tags for your subheadings you can see this one it's an h2 tag you can set h3 h4 so the subheadings are always h2 headings and make sure to mention the focus keyword in one of these subheadings an example this subheading here is what is email validation i mentioned the target keyword in this subheading so h2 tags and mention at least one time the target keyword in the h2 subheadings step number four mentioning your focus keyword multiple times in the article if you go here and search for what is email validation you will see i mentioned it four times with the title and subheadings in my article i think it's not that much but you have to know something here very important we are talking about mentioning it like five six times and not putting it everywhere don't overuse this method just mention it in your article in a natural way. Just think about it. If an article is about dog training, it's obvious that the article must mention this keyword, dog training. So just keep things normal and talk to humans and not machines. Write for humans and not machines. So mention your keyword multiple times inside your article. Step number five is using external and internal linking in your article. What do I mean? If you go down here, in my article, you will see I am linking to other email validation services, zero bounds, email list verify, and so on. So these are external links. How this helps? This helps Google understand what's the topic of your article. If you are linking to other email validation services, so this article is somehow related to email validation and linking to authority websites in your niche tell google that your website is a good piece of content informative content linking to authority websites also this will help you increase the rank of your web page so link to external authority websites in your article and also link to internal pages in your website now since this is the first blog post in our website i don't have other articles but later on as you will see I will start linking articles together. This is what we call internal linking. This also helps Google crawl 
your website from page to page and helps in ranking your web pages. So external linking to authority sites and internal linking. Of course, later on, you may turn these links or some of these links to affiliate links automatically, as you will see in the affiliate marketing part when we start monetizing our website later on in this awesome series. So let's now move to step number six, optimizing our title. The title is super important. But before we start optimizing it, I will go back to my WordPress dashboard to install a plugin. Go here to plugins again, add in you and install a plugin called Monster Insights. This plugin is mainly for analytics, tracking your visitors, but there is a small extension in it that helps in writing the title. Let's see it. Install this plugin. We will also use it later with Google Analytics to track our traffic, but for now, just activate it and I will go back to my post and refresh here. You will see now we will have this new metric, the headline analyzer. It will give you a score for your title so you can improve it. Also, it will show you some tips to improve your title like including emotional words power words uncommon words and so on so now let's optimize our title to reach at least a score of 70 as this plugin suggests strive for 70 or above and what's nice here you can go here to try a new headline write the headline a new title here and analyze it and see how things will be different let's say what is email validation analyze these two letters and how it helps let's say like this analyze this 48 wow we had six new points so i am improving now i want to give you a small tip in copywriting in general especially for titles copywriters always say that whenever you want to write a title write a lot of versions of it like 10 to 15 to 20 versions then pick one and optimize it you have to train yourself write different titles now let's see how i can improve it more to reach 70 for my article let's try other headline let's say what is email validation everything you need to know analyze and excellent 81 you can see i use some uncommon words emotional words we can increase this also more by using some power words but for now it's okay so what is email validation everything you need to know i will replace it with this one and excellent now our headline is 81 why the headline is very important for simply two reasons if you go now to my website here while you are scrolling between my articles mainly you will look at the thumbnail here or the featured image and the title if this attracted you you will click to read so this will help keep users on your website to read more articles and navigate through your website the second main reason which is more important when you search for something on google how you will click by reading the title only we don't have images here you will read the titles there's a title you can see so you need to write an attractive title to increase what we call the ctr or the click through rate click through rate is the percentage on how much clicks you got from the total impressions you got on google search results so make sure to improve your title and make it clickable and attractive step number seven now you have to stop hold your mouse go now and click on the subscribe button to optimize your article and don't forget notifications to get every new update anyway step number seven is to go back to your dashboard to wordpress go again to plugins and you are going to install a new plugin an seo plugin we have several plugins but in my case i work with yoast seo you can use rank math if you want like this one all in one seo we have different plugins but i am familiar with yoast seo and this is what i'm going to share with you in this video we have five main active installations with 27,000 five star reviews it's a perfect plugin i use it on all my wordpress websites activate and now let's see what will happen go back to your website refresh and now we will have yoast plugin we will have this section here the new section in our article here you can set the focus key phrase which is our focus keyword you remember in step number one what is my focus keyword is what is email validation i will copy it and paste it here that simple now automatically this plugin will analyze the readability of your post and the seo of the post and it will tell you what to do like go and add images go and add internal links increase the key phrase density and so on it will show you what you did correctly and so on
on. It's an awesome plugin tell you what to do. So everything we explained before, the plugin will tell you do this and that to optimize the article, which is perfect. So install Yoast and now if you go down below the article, we will have this section also. It will show you how Google will preview your article on the search result or your post. This is the mobile result and this is the desktop result. You can see it here. And if you go down here, we have something called the meta description. What is the meta description? If you go back to Google here, you will see we have the title and this is the meta description also we need to optimize this meta description how to optimize it simply go again here and you will see the meta description box in the Yoast preview what you have to do simply is to mention the focus keyword in the meta description as I will do now I will paste my meta and you can see I mentioned it here what is email validation and you can see the green line here it shows everything is perfect so this is my meta description just make sure to mention the keyword inside it and what's nice that Brian from Backlinko created this meta description formula you can use it if you want to create your meta descriptions and make things easy for you this is how he uses it for his own articles and you can do if you want so we optimize the meta description what's next step number eight is optimizing the url what's the url let's go back to my main website hdk.com you can see this is the url of my blog this is the domain name and this here is called the slug the title of the article part in the url so let's go back here to edit post you will see the slug is here what to do two things make it short and mention the target keyword so simply i will remove this i will make short what is email validation and this is the target keyword perfect so step number eight optimizing the url make it short and mention the target keyword I'm repeating just for beginners to memorize these rules so you can do it in every blog post you create on your website. It's super important. You have to do it if you want to be successful and get organic traffic from Google. What do we have next? Step number nine. Add images, graphics, statistics and optimize it inside your article whenever you open an article let's say again to my website you will see we have images we have graphics we have some colors and so on this will help improve user experience and when you improve user experience people will love your content and this will obviously make them maybe share it this will give a positive signal to google that people are loving this content so it will rank higher and so on so always try to add some images and graphics to your article usually i use canva canva.com is one of the best websites to create anything infographics small videos stories social media posts featured images thumbnails anything so what i do i click on create a design i go here and search for blog banner it will open this template this empty template i go here and select the background i pick a color let's say this color now what i want to tell you always try to use the same styling in your website if you go to my main website you can see the thumbnails the featured images are somehow using the same fonts the same styling so this is related to branding we'll talk about branding later on in detail but for now just make sure to use the same styling in your graphics and images so i go here to element and let's create something related to emails I will say email here okay let's get this image just an example so what I want to focus here on how to optimize these images so let's go here download I will select JPEG or JPG I will go here and download this image what you are going to do before you publish on your website here is to change the format of the image convert it so go here and search for JPEG to webp converter you will have a lot of online converters i will pick the first one convert you i will select here the file go to downloads here open this image look at the size six seven kilobytes i will convert now now the size must decrease let's see perfect 19 kilobytes i will download it and now we can upload again to our website i will go back to my article let's say i want to add it here i will click on this plus icon then image then upload i will select this image dot web p open and now the image will be uploaded to my website you can resize it if you want you can set it centered or whatever this is how you add images and graphics to your website later on i will cover in depth how we create in infographics also using canva if you go here to canva you say infographic which is a perfect way 
to attract people to your website, get backlinks as you will see later on. You can pick any template and create an infographic in minutes using Canva and attach it to your blog post as a resource. Anyway, so this is how you add images and optimize it and compress it before publishing it on your website. So make sure to add some images. And what's more important than that is to optimize the image for SEO. Our topic is about SEO. How to do this? Just click on the image and go here to the settings. You will see we have the alt text, the alternative text of the image. I will say, what is email validation? So I am mentioning my keyword inside this image alt text. Make sure to do this always for your images. Not always the same focus keyword, but just make sure to add an alternative text to your image. This will make sure your image will be optimized for SEO. Step number 10 is the final optimization and publishing the article. If you go back here to our article to the Yoast SEO plugin, you will see it still shows that we have something wrong. Let's see what's wrong. The first thing is the internal links. As we mentioned, we must add some internal links. Now to fix this fast now, I will simply go here to my website. I will copy the main website link and let's add it here at the end for more articles visit em bound just example add a link paste it open a new tab and save and that's it so now we fix the internal linking of course this is just for testing now just to show you how to add an internal link later on you'll add it inside your article in the best way to link between your article we will see this later anyway so this is the first problem the second thing is the keyword phrase density you see it says the focus key phrase was found 31 times which is more than the recommended maximum of 30 times what's the key phrase density what this plugin does is it goes to this key phrase it splits it to email validation and when you go down here and click on view the phrases you can see email validation email validation email 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 validation you can see here so it splits the focus keyword into multiple terms and it will highlight all of them and it tells you that we found it 31 times so we must decrease this a little bit i will simply remove this statement let's go down see what do we have here i will say here validate emails and very nice we optimized everything now according to yoast let's close this we still have the readability analysis what readability it's simply how much this article is readable if you click on this icon here you will see some information about this article how many words how many headings and it will show you the document outline the outline is fine but if you skim through the article you will see here we have this block of code it's a javascript code showing how to validate emails we must fix this what i will do now is i will delete this code i will delete it and i'm going to add here a block a new block which is a pre-formatted block this will look better when you add source codes and javascript codes and so on if you are in the programming niche so i will paste again the code let's see how it will look very nice let's save the draft you can see now it turns green automatically but still shows some improvements if you want like transition words and so on you can check them and fix the article to get better readability score and so on That's enough for now i think i will go and hit the publish button publish publish now it's live i will open the post you can see this is the url simple clean and short and the keyword is inside it and this is our new article published on our website but if we go back to our main page, you can see we don't have a featured image. If you go back to my website, you can see every article has a featured image. So how we can add featured images to our posts, which is very important to attract people to click on your articles. I will go back to edit post, to settings, the post and go down. We have something called featured image. So we have to create a featured image. Click on this. You can upload one if you want. As we did in Canva, create one with JPEG or PNG and convert it to WebP format to resize it. Now I will select from the library the same image here just for the sake of time. And don't forget to add the alt text again. I will say what is email validation you can also set the title again here set featured image update now let's refresh and awesome this is our new article published optimized and ready to rank on google i hope you enjoy this video 
It's somehow long, but I tried my best to cover almost all the core concepts in on-page SEO to help you optimize and rank your articles. See you later.